Hitman Absolution. We are doing Death Factory on normal. Okay, we got through the beginning cutscene and we did our first challenge. Now we're going to work on our second part of uh, Reap What You Sow. And uh, get our first kill in and then run around and collect some of our lost and found. Okay, um, I don't use it much, but I just like having it, the folding knife. As soon as you start off, you head to the left, pick it up, head up to the catwalk, and we'll take out our first guard and get to this uh, part two of Reap What You Sow challenge. Okay, it goes without saying, anytime the guards drop any weapons, you definitely pick them up. Uh, you know, you need them for your lost and found. Okay, so why don't you take that dude down, get his disguise. Work him on this left side of the catwalk, get up to this corner. Okay, you wait for the scientist to get done yakking on his phone, complaining about something or other. Now, I tried this a couple different ways. Uh, hit this guy with the knife, and uh, it just sets the guards off in a routine that doesn't work uh, for getting the rest of the challenge on. So. This really is the best way to get the Reap What You Sow challenge done, so once you get past that corner, come on down here. Do not use this checkpoint. It is not beneficial to us. Okay, you got to wait for this guard to turn. Take him out. Otherwise, him and that scientist walk up there, and you can't get to the scientist afterwards, so just get up to him quickly and take him out, throw him over the edge, obviously it doesn't count towards the challenge, and then just chill here for a second, and then this guy's going to walk past you. Now it's crucial to get up to that guy quickly and get him, okay. throw him over the edge to start this routine off. So you get this guy, he's going to be our first of this five parts, or five scientists that we need to get. Okay, take his disguise and then throw his body over the railing. Okay, you go in here and you get this guy. He's just sitting here looking at the blueprints or whatever. Okay, this routine has worked out pretty well. I've done it a few times, so. Come up here, get this guy. I'm not 100% sure if we throw him over the hand railing if it works here or not but just to be on the safe side I drag his body back to where I got all the other ones so okay so the first three were fairly easy Next two we have to we'll put a little bit of work in to get them. So come in here, walk past the guards. Again, any items that you might find along the way, pick up. Okay, we don't uh, <clears throat> we don't want to kill this guy yet, so leave him be. At the after we get this challenge done, we're gonna to get right our first kill feet. in, and then go ahead and reload the, the checkpoint. They were calling it the Omega. But right now we're focusing on this seep what you row challenge. The get the Omega second facility. part done. Are you kidding? Okay, you got to pay <laughs> attention like to the routine now. of these guards yeah, well, here. Okay, these guys get done talking, they're going to split up, and then the guy on the right is going to be the one we're going after. 
his own demons always with him, stumbles upon a secret file that exposes the shadowy government branch known only as the Omega. Would you shut up? Okay, I guess that's the guy on the left. Now he's on the right. But you can see the guard behind him there. And if we walked out there to get him, he wouldn't be alerted till we grabbed him, and then uh, he would be. So he doesn't seem to move, so we need to wait for this guard to kind of go off. Okay. When they first split up there, I might have been able to get around and get that guy. I just wasn't sure how long it would take for this uh, guard to take his little routine walk around. So, better to be safe than sorry. Otherwise, we had to reload the checkpoint and start from the beginning again. Okay, leave him here, outside to the left here. We got a guard. We're gonna go ahead and take care of him. He may not have uh, been alerted by me dragging the body across, but there ain't no sense in taking a chance. So we'll just take him, throw him over the edge. And again, because we're gonna reload the checkpoint, it doesn't matter uh, extra kills or whatever. So. Okay, so that takes care of number four. Again, number five, we got to put a little bit of time and work in to get to him. Okay, and this guy on the right, he stays there, so we don't have to sweat him too much. And we'll let the doctor do his little blow up the pig routine, and then he's going to go off underneath. So he's out of the way. Now what we got is we got this rotating guard and we're going to need to deal with him but we have to pay attention to the scientist. Okay now the scientist just turned his back now we got a second to take him out but we need to stay right here behind this wall for a second. Okay let him turn head to the other side. Okay, now it's cool to drag him out of here. Go ahead, throw him over the railing. Okay, again, we gotta pay attention to his routine. Now when he turns and heads the other direction, we're cool to get this guy and drag him out of there. throw his body over and that's going to complete the second part of this. Now obviously with this challenge you can't be spotted. If you're spotted in any way uh, it's over. You're going to have to reload the checkpoint and uh, so make sure that you're not spotted and if you do like I said you're just going to have to reload because it won't work. Okay, now we want to kill Green by uh, blowing him up in the minefield, so this guy's got to get out of our way, so 
the other guards weren't looking to the right side, so we took care of him. And don't throw him down into that center area, otherwise the doctor will be alerted and that will ruin everything. So drag him out here to the backhand railing and throw him over the side. Okay, while well, you're up here and the room is clear, get the evidence because the next couple times we kill him, we may not be in this area, so... Okay, so we got a little bit of time before he uh, does his little thing. He's going to blow a pig up and then make his way back down into the minefields again. So we're going to go to the this side of the map and collect some of our lost and found things. But you got to be careful because there are some scientists around here. So you are going to need to use some instinct to get past here. So... Okay, let this scientist walk up to the panel here. Hey, what's that? Okay, in this back corner there's a assault rifle with some ammo and um, the, the same rifle is on the other side but uh, since we're here, we're going to go ahead and pick it up. Okay, right here inside the, the big area. I actually had to come back and get this, so I just cut it into this video, considering we're right here on this side, is the gas can. And uh, I'm not 100% sure, but in the center of this map, uh, where the guards and the scientists are, is a screwdriver. But I'm pretty sure that later in the level we'll be picking up a screwdriver. Uh, if you decide to go gangster and shoot everybody, make sure to run around and pick up all the items. Okay, there's mines in here, and uh, I believe we already picked up a mine in the other uh, area where the, the doctor is. So once you get done down there, pick up a mine, drop it, whatever. Now, where have I seen him before? You are invading my personal space, sir. Do a little bump with this other scientist there. Of course, now I just got spotted. But uh, I'm able just to walk up here and uh, walk inside and I guess he lose interest in me, so that's good. Huh? Where'd he go? All right, so we're back to normal again. All's good. The doctor's on his way down into the minefield, and then we can get our net, our first kill in. Busy. Let's go. Report, report, report. 
Okay, let him walk into the field and then let it rip. Crazy old coot. Okay, so that takes care of the first part of the three part challenge. Okay, just making sure that uh, we pick up all the items that we can find along the way. Okay, since we're in disguise and uh, we started collecting some of these items, we're going to go ahead and get the stuff on this side. And pretty much the only thing of uh, real interest is the explosives. And okay, earlier so I mentioned that I believe there is a screwdriver in the center of the map, but I'm also fairly certain that the screwdriver will come into play later in the level, but Hi. if you want to uh, make sure that you get it, uh, walk into the center of the map and get the screwdriver, just uh, make sure you have it because they're going to reload the checkpoint. So even if you get spotted or hostile or whatever, as long as you pick up the items so you don't have to backtrack for them, you're good. Yeah, that's a key card. There's another key card a little bit further down. You think they uh, be more careful with them and just let them sit around. The anyway, that? there's the rifle that we picked up on the other side. Damn. You, you know come down here, much. there'll be a wrench. And that's going to be it. Like I mentioned, there is a screwdriver in the center, so if you want to go get it, go for it. All right, we're going to see you on the next one. If you like the videos, you can always support us by checking out the ads.